So what I want to show you is the Formit Shadow Tools. Um, they're actually very simple to use. The first thing you need when using the Formit Shadow Tools is to use the location settings. So the first thing is to set your location. Now it knows where you are. If you have any location uh, options on, such as GPS, uh, it will know where you are when you begin. So it knows right now that I'm in downtown San Francisco, um, but we can change this to any, any location you want. So for instance, I'll use a 123 fake lane, which is in South Carolina. And so here we are, 123 fake lane. And I can now use the satellite imagery from that location to actually do some modeling, which is good. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Uh, I like to use the most zoomed in, unless you're modeling very large buildings. Uh, but so we can finish importing and let it go for a second. You can see that it's working because of the little rotating picture over the location uh, image, location selector. So now we have this wonderful satellite image and we can start modeling on top of this. Um, so one thing that's pretty easy to do is we're just going to use the rectangle, going to draw this to here, pull this up, uh, that's a little bit awesome. I'm going to rotate it a smidge. Per that's pretty good. Now I'm going to draw that up. I'm going to extrude up. So let's say it's 20 feet tall uh, for this building. Now I want to use the shadow tools, and of course we can add you know other features here if we'd like. But the idea is just to show you how the shadow options are going to work. So we'll make that like something like that. Um, and now we can see how the shadows are going to change throughout the year. So to use the shadow tool, we simply use this icon, which is the sun above a building. Pretty straightforward. Um, so it has the location, and it knows the location from the satellite imagery that we used. So that is accurate for this. Um, you could change that if you want, if you're not using satellite imagery. But generally, it's easiest just to use uh, the location selector, pick where you want to be, and then go that way. Um, we're going to turn shadow on. Don't worry about daylight savings time, and then use the date. When we click on the date, now it gives us these options of sun settings. Um, let me get a better view here so you can see how this is going to affect everything. So we click on date, and now it's set, it's set to June 20th at midday. So you can scrub between morning and evening. And you can see how the sun is, is affecting the shadows here. That makes sense. Um, and we can also change the time of year so we can see how this is affected sort of early in the year, February kind of time, through March, how uh, the shadows are going to change. So if we put this back till around noon, um, how, the, how the shadows in the middle of the day change. When the sun's low in the sky, January 1st, um, the shadows are obviously going to be longest. Closer to the middle of the year, the shadows are obviously going to be shorter. So by altering these options, we can select any time of year, any time of day we'd like, and we can understand how the shadows are going to change. Um, this can be very useful for figuring out something like if you can use uh, photovoltaics or solar panels on your roof uh, or other parts of your property, you can understand how the sun may be heating or, cool, uh, or the shade may be allowing some more cooling of your home uh, or of a, any other sort of building. But basically you can use these in conjunction with the other tools in Formit to understand how the sun and the shadows resulting from it are going to affect uh, existing or new buildings.